day, another show uh, to bring this kingdom and glory yes, to sir. every young person, family member that's listening, every family. I got my man, God's man in the house. What's happening? What a dosky, what a dusky, and, what a wusky. And I gotta say, uh, level Obanan. Ah, that's silly. <laughs> What's happening, everybody? And we also got some young people in the house uh, that are joining us tonight. I got my son Isaiah over there. What's up? I got Bailey over here. Hey guys, what's up? All right, and I got Cameron and Josh. So y'all say hello. Hello. Yo. So we uh we doing the young version in here tonight. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, uh, this is for the young people, so it's, uh, it's cool to bring young people in here and let them talk about things that they uh they want to talk about. Get the uh, preacher man in the house. Oh, yeah, Mr. Burns. What's up, man? Got Sergeant Burns in there. What's up, man? Mr. Man. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's a mystery right there, man. The mystery man. <laughs> That's a mystery yeah. man. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. So what's been going on this week, fellas? What's been happening? Is it work, ministry, uh, work and ministry? You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 uh, Let me trade it's both, spots. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, ministry first, man, it didn't work. You know what I'm saying? Ministry, to me, is a constant thing all day. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's, it's ministering outside of my house, you know, or just ministering to myself. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, because that, you know, that's where that's where I believe it's true, man. It's, it's, it's yourself. You know what I'm saying? So just been, uh, you know, man, just pressing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going on like 13 hours today right now, so, you know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm pressing, though. We got to start calling you Hey Money. Hey, man. Hey, man. We got 13 jobs. You man. lazy bum. I'm good. I have 15 <laughs> jobs, you lazy bum. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? I work 29 but, uh, hours a day. Yeah, you know, it, it, this week. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It can't even be serious right there. I'm you know sorry, I mean? man. I'm my bad. I'm sorry. Look, but uh, you know what I'm saying? And just on that note, man, just ministering to myself, man. You know, me and Brother Mac was just talking, you know what I'm saying, a few days ago, man. And it was just like, we were just talking about. Uh, you know what I'm saying? How sometimes we get caught up in moving forward that we forget about the right now. You know what I'm saying? They're putting God yep. first in everything. You know what I'm saying? You know, we get so caught up in if we get so caught up in the ministry, in ministry, you know what I'm saying, and sometimes we don't spend that quality time with, with God. You know what I'm saying? You know, and I know I have to be reminded of that sometimes. You know what I'm saying? We get so so caught up, and sometimes I, I I think we believe that we helping God out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he give yeah. he give us a glimpse of the future. <laughs> yeah, he give yeah. us a glimpse of what you know the plans that he has. You know what I'm saying? And 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 and, and what he and the promises. Hey, what's up? Bro? You know what I'm saying? That we forget about the process. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. forget about seeking him first. You know what I mean? Seeking the kingdom first. You know what I'm saying? Like then these things will be added. You know what I'm saying? So you know me and brother Mac was just talking, okay. man, and sharpening each other, man, and you know. It was, and and our, our spirits were just quickening, you know what I'm saying? It was like at that moment, man, God checked, you know what I'm saying, checked us. And he checked me and was like, man, look, let me reflect your mind back on some things. Remember, you know, yeah, I, I, I know what I, I know I, what I told y'all, you know what I'm saying? I know what, what the path and the vision is, but look, this is where you're falling off at right here. You know what I'm saying? You remember how you used to pray before you did this? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You remember how you sought me first before you did that? You know what I'm saying? And then once the ball got rolling, you know what I'm saying? It was some things stalled for a moment. So, you know what I'm saying? That's what I've been on all week. It's just like, Lord, you know what I'm saying? Help me to to to, to seek you first continuously. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that, that's what I've been on all week. You know what I'm saying? Just examining myself. And, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Checking myself and making sure that I'm I'm in the faith. And I mean, that, that's very true, man. I, I know, uh, you know, sometimes you can get so busy. You, you can't never be too busy for God, and, and when you do do that, uh, he, he, he gets you. I know I've had uh, at least five mornings, I know, being waking, awakened at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. You need to pray. You need, you need to seek my face. And and it's uh, that sleepy demon try to get on you. You know, she start feeling good. You're like, man, I, no, <laughs> five sure. more minutes. Yeah, I get up and I'll, I'll say, I'm not, I do that. But then, you know, because the one thing I learned, when you don't pray and you don't start your day off with him, when your whole day is in disarray, all you got to look back is that where it started in that morning. Yeah. You know, I didn't pray. <laughs> and, and, oh, and, uh, uh, you know, so that's really, really important. 
before I forget, we got my man uh, Chris Flo on the line, so we're going to holler at him. Yeah, I've been calling him for What's a long up, Chris time. What's Chris Flo? What's going on, Finders? I've been calling him for a long time, just seeing if y'all still about God's business. And I'd just like to say one of the lessons that I've learned, and I'm learning even more, and I was reading on this week, is that God said before you do anything, pray. Yeah. A lot of times we go into situations, whether it's ministry, whether it's music, whether it's uh, applying for jobs, whether, whether it's choosing a church to go to, we go into the situation and we say, oh, I think this is a good church, but we don't consult God about what we do. And the scripture that I was reading uh, this week, it said, before you do anything, pray. So we have to consult God and get God saved because we have to realize the flesh wars against the spirit. And a lot of times, your decision that you're making is just that. It's your decision. But your decision don't mean that it's God's decision. So a lot of times, we have to separate the good from the evil because the old man is still there trying to make a decision. You might say, I don't want to do ministry with this brother. But that might be the wrong decision. And you might say, I want to do ministry with this brother, thinking that's the right decision, but that might be a wrong decision. Or sometimes people say, this is my wife, just because she looks pretty or she's tall or she's something, but that might not be your wife. Because you're making that decision, but you haven't consulted God about the decision that you're making. And sometimes we, we do that. So God is telling me to tell the people and to tell all the young people, before we do anything, we should be uh, consulting God. Because Philippians 4 and 6 says, be anxious for nothing. So making your request known unto God. So if he's saying be anxious for nothing, he's telling the listeners and he's telling us as ministers that we can should consult him about everything and not just some things. Right, man. That's, that's that's a good message. And you know, if you learn that as a young person, you you knock out a lot of heartaches and headaches uh, as you get older. That's a good word, man. It's good to hear from you, man. I haven't seen you talk to you in a while. Yeah, yes, he don't play all the time. Yes, Chris Flosky. Yes, sir. All right, Chris, man. Good to hear from you. Yes, sir. Yeah. Ain't heard from you in a minute. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and uh, kick some flavor in here, and then we'll come back with, a, with another message. So we're going to hit uh, with uh, Jesus the bus. I've been running. Man, I'm on fire, dude. Look, I was Lord on. Jesus, I want to thank you for your spirit being in this place. Yeah, Lord. Works of silver that can't be burned away with the fire. Lord, give us new works, Lord, that, that are worthy of your glory, Lord God. Use us in your field. Lord, keep us with the right perspective like Tim was saying, Lord. Let us always be seeking you, Lord God. But right now, I just wanted to say I love you and I praise you. And we need you. We need more of your Holy Spirit. We need more of your wisdom. We need more of your love. We need more of your understanding. Lord, we need more of you. Hallelujah. And I thank you for these people that came from Oldham County, Lord. They could have been doing other things. These younger people, Lord, that's here filming and doing the thing. Lord, bless them, Lord God. Lord, they could have been looking at some porn or something tonight, Lord. But they up here doing some work having to do with you. Yeah. And it's a woman of God here with them, Lord, that's, 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 that's shepherding them and putting them in the right environment, Lord yeah, God. Yeah. Thank you for the heart of these parents, Lord, that are pushing children in the right direction. And, Lord, may our voice tonight be heard. Not our voice, Lord, excuse me, but your voice in our voice. Yeah. Be heard over these airwaves, Lord, that somebody will feel the anointing and be drawn to repentance. Not because of impending judgment. But, Lord, because they know that you are just that good. Hallelujah. Because it's your goodness, Father, that brought me to repentance. I was okay with going to hell, Lord. But I saw something good that made me want to hold on to you. And know a little bit more about you. Made me want to go a little more deeper with you, Lord. Made me want to get clean, Lord. Because I saw that your majesty and your grace and your power and your wonders yeah. was something I'd Hallelujah. never seen before. And I thank yeah. you, Lord, that you destroyed the principalities yeah. in thank my life. You, I thank you, Lord, that you gave me authority over demons and, yeah. and things yeah. in my life. And that you saved me, Lord God. You, Lord. And can't nobody take my joy. No devil in hell can take my joy and my yeah. praise. Death, yeah. nor, nor pestilence, nor strife, nor nothing in this earth can take my joy and my praise, Lord. Because you are worthy. Almighty yes, Father, yes. you're worthy 
and worthy until I die that I give you praise and I thank you. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, praise you, praise you. Hallelujah, Lord. It's you, Lord. You don't need us. You don't need us, Lord. You're letting us play in your clothes, and I thank you. You're letting us play in the field and be a part of your, your thing. This is your thing, Lord God. And I'm just humbled to be in the presence of other people who love you and that you love them. And I thank you, Lord, for the body of Christ coming together in this.